Okay, for those that don't know, uh, we're in election season, which means in November, there's going to be a new president chosen, and there's also going to be new senators, probably. Yes, for sure. Congressmen, too. Maybe, possibly. So basically, I, I just wrote a letter to someone. Uh, well, it's like an email, and I actually sent it. And it's it went to the person who's running for Senate in the state of Texas. And it's about uh, lane splitting, because this is the perfect time in America, no matter where you live, to get lane splitting adopted all across America. And here's, I'm going to read the letter I wrote word for word. If elected to the United States Senate, would you work to help speed up states' adoption of motorcycle lane splitting on interstate highways in start and stop traffic conditions by tying states' eligibility for federal transportation assistance to allowing motorcyclist lane splitting to the maximum extent practically, practically consistent with safety. Yeah, I actually uh, wrote that. It took me a while. And, and then I got a second like a uh, paragraph. Let me uh, move this. Come on. Uh, let's see. Okay. And then uh, some back history. Uh, in 1975, Congress used this tactic to speed up states' adoption of right on red laws. Also, HOV lanes permit motorcyclists for similar reasons. By the way, America, I think, is the only country which has right on red. It's basically all across America, and it took Congress to basically get all the states on board. And and they, they did it by tying in federal funding, and same with uh, motorcycles on HOV lanes. It's basically all across America, and it was the federal government that said, if you want the federal funding, you must do this. That's the only way laws get passed in America. There's no point in reinventing the wheel. There's no point in going state by state. And let me just get to the third paragraph. This is how I finished the letter. And I, I encourage everybody else to do the same thing. Okay, let's finish it. Last paragraph. Lastly, lane splitting is endorsed by the American Motorcyclist Association and has been proven to enhance motorcyclist safety by a university of California study at Berkeley. And then that, that's the end of the, my letter I sent. But like I said, I don't really want to become an advocate for a lane splitting. I don't want to start a, uh, an association. I don't want to get involved. I just want to see it get done. So I encourage everybody out there to do the same. Uh, let's, let's get out there and let's... Uh, politicians want to hear from... Uh, people because they, they want to get votes and basically I think they just want to hear about the, the the big issues the border if you're on the right and abortion if you're on the left and actually when it comes to lane splitting I don't even know if it's a right or left thing because I think uh, here in America I think it's now at four states and I think three of the four are Republican states so this might not even be a a left or right issue which would be good because maybe it can get done so that's basically the video let's uh let's get lane splitting uh happening legally across america thank you